Today we're going to do a step-by-step -step drawing with a handwriting task mixed in. So what you're going to need is a pencil or a pen. I'm going to use a Sharpie, a piece of blank paper, something to color with, and I'm going to use another piece of paper as my ruler because I don't have one. So really you just need a straight edged surface. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is at the bottom half of our paper, we are going to make lines across the page, just like this. These are the lines that we are going to be using to write our sentence with. So it should look something like this. So now I'm going to draw you through the steps of drawing our flower. You're going to take it one step at a time and I'm going to show you the pictures as we go along. So the first picture will be of the first step and then another picture will come in and that will be of the next step. Please pause the video while you complete each step and remember your jobs as the pictures progress is to figure out what is different from the step before. So for example, let's say the first step has a circle and the second step has the same circle with a triangle sitting on top. The part of that that is different is the triangle and that is the part that you have to add on to your flower. Okay, so now that you have your flower drawn and colored in, the next thing we're going to do is write our sentence on the bottom. We are going to write our sentence and it's going to say, April showers bring May flowers. So remember, as we are writing, we use our best tripod pencil grip, which means we're using three fingers. We are going to work hard to place our letters on the line form them nice and steady, and use our very best handwriting. You can see here that the P falls below the line because it is a fall letter. So we start our sentence with a capital, our fall letters go below the line, and we remember that we have small and tall letters. Another good tip is that when you are going to leave spaces in between your words, use your finger to judge the amount of space that you leave, like this. So you can see here that my finger can fit in between that space so that my words don't run together and they're far enough apart. Now I will finish my sentence. You can see that I used my very best handwriting. I left a finger's worth of space between all of my words. My fall letters went below the lines and my tall letters are bigger than my small letters. I ended my, my sentence with a period and I capitalized the M in May because May is a month, which means it's a proper noun. I finished my product by writing my name and spring 2020 on the bottom. You can color your picture further if you would like, add grass or a sun or a family or anything like that. Thank you so much for doing this project in OT with us today. I hope that you had fun and I hope that you have a good rest of your week. See you next time.